For this breakdown, we're going to take a look at a play out of the Gun Trio Offset, and the name of the play is called Flood. Now, I'm not really going to talk so much about the name of the play as far as the concept, with the Flood concept. Really what I want to concentrate on as you watch this particular breakdown is we want to kind of focus in on this route right here that's ran by the tight end. And as you notice that, as you look at it, you're going to see that it's basically a kind of a uh, corner post route. It's got it's a double move route, which is pretty effective against man coverage for the most part. However, again, it is, it is effective, but it can be more. Let's reframe that. This particular route is effective against that type of coverage, but sometimes it can be well guarded. Now, it, what I really wanted to focus in on here is an actual, uh, as far as the X factors go, is I want to talk about the particular tight end that's going to run this route, and his name is Zach Ertz of the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And one of the things about him, he's an X factor. And as you look at your screen here, let's go ahead and kind of zoom in a little bit here. You're going to notice that he has a couple different uh, attributes that most tight ends don't have. He's, I believe he's the second best tight end in the game. And first off, you're going to see that he has this max security, high success rate on possession ca uh, catches. And then he also has tight end apprentice. This is really what we're going to focus in on with this breakdown is the four additional hot routes that he has, up, has when he lines up at tight end. And then finally, he has an in-out elite, better route running and catching in the in-and-out routes. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is what you call an in-and-out route, but seeing that he breaks out and into the in, then maybe that would be something that would come along because he sure seems to get open with the route that I'm going to show with one of those four additional hot routes that he has. So I want to show that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and get on the field here and then take a look at it. And you're kind of going to see a little bit more of what I was talking about. So first off, Let's go ahead and take a look at that pass route that I mentioned earlier, the route that he runs. And if you look at your screen there, you're going to find that he runs that this particular route right here. Let's go ahead and focus in on him. And keep in mind, he is an X factor. So we're going to go ahead and kind of make that look a little cooler there for you as far as the graphics. So anyways, he is an X factor. And then what he runs, as I mentioned earlier, he runs this uh, corner post route, and it's a double move route. And against man coverage, a lot of times, let's go ahead and zoom in here. Against man coverage, he's going to get a little bit uh, more. He's going to get open even with, by running this route. Now, not always. Now, sometimes the defender will catch up with him and uh, basically be able to make a play on it. Now, with this particular breakdown, I believe you're going to find that the defender that's covering him, at least initially, is going to be uh, this defender right here. As you look at it, he's going to be one that's going to be covering him, at least initially. Now, um, that can change, and it could be this other defender right over here. It could also cover him, depending on what happens. Sometimes you'll see a switch. So what I want to do right now is go ahead and run this. Before I do that, if you're following along, I just want to show you this is out of the big dime. It's a 2-3-6, I believe, cover two man. Just so if you're following along, you can kind of watch it. And so let's go ahead and run this, and then we'll kind of break it down, and then we'll go back, and, I, and then I'll show you the four additional pass routes that he gets because of his X factor rating. So let's just go ahead and run it. And there you can see that he gets open pretty good. Now, the cool thing about that route is he's not always going to be as open, or the bad thing about that, he's not always going to get as open as what you're seeing here. On this particular play, he does. Sometimes this guy will actually get in there, and right there got sacked. But sometimes that guy won't get quite as open as what you're seeing as far as, Ertz, as, far as him being a tight end. Let's go ahead and run it one more time here see if he still gets kind of open there. Now he's still getting pretty good open. So with that, you can run that route, and he's going to get open. Again, I've seen him where he also gets covered pretty good, too, so it's not always a guaranteed. So let's go ahead and look at something else I wanted to talk about with his route uh, as far as the four additional routes that he gets. And as you look at it, let's go ahead and do this. Clear on that and go over here and take a look at this. I just want to kind of focus in on this route right here, this trail route. Now, as you notice, those are the four additional pass routes that he gets for being an X factor. But the one that I want to concentrate on in this video breakdown happens to be this route here, which is the trail route that he's going to run. Now, keep in mind, as I said earlier, that route that I just showed he gets quite open against man coverage against that. But I feel this route's even better, in my opinion, because he almost always gets open. I mean, I haven't seen him never get open against man coverage with this. So let's go ahead and run it. And you can see the bill to do that. All you got to do is just go ahead and press on this icon, and then you got to press left on the D-pad button. So let's go ahead and show you again here. So you just got to go ahead and press left on the D-pad as you're looking at your screen here. Uh, just go ahead and press left, and then um, he'll go ahead and run that route. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. 
and then we'll show you right there you can see on your screen so let's go ahead and run it and then we'll go back and we'll focus in on it see how open he gets and to me he gets open even more so and the other thing about that is you look with this particular route it seems like the corner now covers him rather than the linebacker if you remember earlier when we ran it with this particular route this guy was covering him in man coverage but once we go ahead and hot route him Let's go ahead and run it this time. See, he's in man coverage right there on that defender. And again, you don't have to do this. I just wanted to point this out. And the reason I – let me something else before I go further in this. The reason I had chose this particular play wasn't so much for that pass route that he's running right now, but it was more for this concept over here as well. This is a zone beater. The flood concept is a zone beater. So you get a zone beater on the left, and then over here you get a man beater with the tight end. So that's the reason I chose this play because – you get the best of both worlds. If they're in zone coverage, then you look to throw it over there towards the left. If they're in man coverage, you look to throw it to the tight end. So that's the nice thing about this. And the other thing is, uh, don't forget, you also got this guy leaking out of the backfield on the swing route to the right. So if it's a blitz, you might be able to throw it to him and pick up some positive yardage. All right, let's go back in here and go ahead and put him back on that trail route again. And then we'll go ahead and zoom it. So let's go ahead and run to play. And you can see it gets wide open there. So to me, that, I think that route's a pretty effective route. And if you're having problems running the the uh, post cor uh, the post uh, I mean the corner post route that he runs, then you can go ahead and use the trail route against man coverage. And a lot of times, especially with the Ertz, you're going to find that he's going to get open when you run the trail route. And that's what you're seeing here. So let's go ahead and run it right there. You can see that I was pointing out earlier. You'll notice that this guy over here. Again, he's in man coverage. And initially, if you really think about it, the way it's supposed to be set up, he really should be he really should be covering that halfback as he comes out of the backfield, but he's not. Instead, he's covering the uh, tight end. So as you look at it, it leaves him pretty wide open there as far as making that throw. So I just wanted to show that to you. It's a pretty effective play as far as uh, beating man coverage. And it's one that uh, I'm finding out that as I do these breakdowns, it's definitely a route, the uh, trail route with the X factor. If a player has that as far as a tight end goes, then it's pretty darn effective. So definitely check that one out if it's something that uh, you might be interested in doing And as far as running, if you're having problems beating man coverage. And like I said, with this particular, with this particular play, because it's a flood concept to the left, it makes it that much more effective. So anyways, that's it on that breakdown. One other thing I want to keep pointing out each week as I do these breakdowns or anytime I do a video breakdown Guys, please uh, subscribe to the Madden Guides uh, YouTube channel. That just helps me out, uh, makes me feel like I'm actually doing something for you guys and people out there are still enjoying my stuff over the years. And, uh, you know, please check it out. And don't forget to go to www.maddenguides.com. There's a lot of nice stuff up there that I've been posting up there. And keep in mind, it's all free for now as far as uh, things go. I won't be charging anything up there, at least the content that's up there. At some point, I'd like to try to get a strategy guide out or at least, a, at least some type of guide out. But we'll see if I get one out. And by Christmas, I hope. But uh, at any rate, uh, you know, I'm just a working guy just like you guys are and just enjoying playing Madden. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.